Oh, hey, what's up? It's it's already been a week, huh? Time sure flies. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just decided I wanted to play some more La Milana this weekend because I, uh, I was kind of going through what I've done just in my head and thinking, like, is there anything I'm forgetting that I was going to come back to and then didn't and so on? And I remembered there was that uh, that tablet inside the moon, whatever it was called, moon sanctuary, moon temple, something like that, that had like untranslatable text. So I have spent a bit of time today going through that and attempting to learn the uh, substitution cipher. And I did. I have like all characters translated except for I think it was K, X and Z or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly. And I just did it using that one tablet that we found in the Temple of the Sun that was talking about the, like, uh, moon... What was it? Moon glinted? Wait, moon... Whoa. Yeah, right. This this thing. I, I'm just gonna alt-tab because we're gonna show some stuff. Moon glinted something. I, I can't remember. And I translated all of that, used one without the translator on, and then one with a translator on, and just kind of figured out most of the signs and painted them down or scribbled them down in my note notebook that I have all of my substitution ciphers and codes and stuff from games in. And then I went to work on the, uh, the moon thing, which is right here. The problem with this one is these characters are not real. These are not actually, you can't read this. If you try and read it, none of the characters line up at all because they are mirrored, which is one hell of a gut punch. Okay, so everything is mirrored, but it's not just, oh, just flip the screen because it's each individual character is mirrored. So I went through in Photoshop just for the hell of it and like tried to crop out or like uh, mark every single individual character and flip it horizontally and we got this right here. It's kind of crusty and probably even more so on on camera. That was one of the problems when I tried to translate things, just like because it's a very low res retro game, pixelated, and then you have this like very flowy, scribbly, wibbly wobbly, cursive-esque script. It's very hard to read what the characters are at some times. But I went to town, started translating, and in the end, through a lot of a lot of uh, trials, I managed to get this here. So the only thing I couldn't figure out were what this means. Like we have the uh, the script here that reads, the joyful heart is something blank. It's like two characters. And I think they might be numbers. Maybe, maybe it's like, is first is third or maybe it's just two digits i don't know the eloquent that was a, a pain to figure out joyful also was hard to figure out i thought it said like soyful at first a heart full of soy and eloquent was hard because i made mistakes when like trying to flip these characters but eventually got it eloquent heart is something and this one the the two signs at the end of eloquent heart is Aren't, isn't that the three that we saw on that statue? There was a statue that said like, oh, on the back it has the, the number three on it. I think this might be it, which would then be like the eloquent heart is 33. Whatever that means. I have no idea what you can gain from that, but maybe. And in that case, I guess the other ones would just be different numbers, possibly. The sincere heart is something. The blissful heart is something. The pure heart is something. The passionate heart is something. And the affectionate heart is something. Every heart has a weight. And then you have this diagram at the bottom there, which I guess, like, there's, there's seven places, kind of? I mean, there's, I don't know, it's, it's a little weird. Like, I can't, don't really know how to interpret all of those slots in that sense, but maybe. And there's like an eighth one that I don't know what that would be. Maybe the starting point, maybe no clue. Either way, it's a riddle. Managed to translate most of it, but 
I don't know, maybe we can find out where numbers are translated more. Like, we, we found three, so I'm assuming we can find other ones. But, yeah, that's, that's the homework I did. So, let's leave that off and just jump into the game. Because, yeah, now I'm just kind of in the mood to advance a little bit and see if we can find some stuff. So, let's go. And I also did about 20 minutes or so of just weight grinding. I just went and killed a bunch of birds and I I don't know why I didn't get that many weights. Like, it, something has definitely changed. In so many runs, I maybe got like a weight every three to four attempts on a screen. Whereas before, I feel like I got one to three weights per screen. I don't know, very weird that it's changed so much. But yeah, got a bunch of weights and also happened to get a bunch of money because of that. It, I got money more than I got weights, I feel. So, yeah, I might do some of, some of that stuff, like, off-camera if I need to at some point, because why not? But yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. And wait, what do we get into? Hold on, one second. I also, like, made notes in a notepad document just to, uh, uh-oh. Did the game crash? I, I can't alt-tab. Yeah, the game crashed. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, we haven't done anything. I also made some notes here just to remember. Right, yeah, okay, so... I have a couple notes that I want to test. Flare gun, maybe in that screen with a seal that says like, when the three lights are in the sky or whatever it said, maybe we just shoot a flare in that screen and then like the two, there's two candles and then maybe the flare will be the third. I don't know, we can test that out, experiment with the flare gun. And then we have the labyrinth that we can explore more in above the inferno. I forgot about the giant statue in the Inferno. There was something about a giant statue, a statue of the giant, that you're supposed to wait for, like, a message or something for a long time. I don't remember if we saw anything like that, but maybe. Uh, and then we have the dark place to the right of the Temple of the Sun, which maybe I'm not supposed to wait with until we have a lantern. Maybe just like the Inferno place, you have to go into the Inferno place to get the ice cape so that you can explore it more thoroughly. Maybe, if we run out of things to do, I have to go into the darkness in order to find what will then give me light. Who knows? And then we also have the Moon Temple, which I kind of left and haven't done enough in, and that's where we had the, like, untranslatable tablet. And finally also that uh, tablet in the beginning of the Temple of the Sun, which said, like, Moon Gazing Pit. There was something about three women and, like, shoot the one that whose smile never fades, shoot, shoot her, pierce her heart. Something like that. So that should be in the Temple of the Sun, I imagine? Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, we have a lot of stuff to, to go through, so I guess I will do that. And yeah, we'll see if I uh, run into a complete dead end again. And yeah, I, I changed the uh, mask on the side, so we don't have to do that this time. All right, so let's start by going. Also, I realized that we don't have the moon teleportation spot. Even though I got it, I definitely, like, translated that. I went and checked, so I guess you just can't teleport to that save point for some reason. I guess you can't always teleport to all save points. No idea. All right, so let's get the flare gun and just test it here. Just gonna clean up. So we have two lights here, and then what did the other one say here? Offer three lights to the heavens. Okay, so flare. No. Well, I shot it three times and I offered it to the heavens, but maybe I wasn't heavenly enough. Maybe we have to do it, like, up here? Oh, that might be it. No? Really? This seems kind of right, but I don't know. Let's just, like, shoot a lot and see if I can, like, hit something. No? Yeah, that kind of seemed like it would be something. Huh. Never mind, then. Alright. Well, time to just load again, then. It was an idea. Maybe we just need to find whatever seal we can open up there. That might just be it. Okay, and uh, where do we go next? I guess the uh, 
the Labyrinth. So let's go... We also don't... No, we do have this one, yeah. But is this better? Is it better to go here, or should I just go from... The temple? Probably from the temple, honestly. I think that's gonna be closer. Uh-oh. Not like this. Oh boy. Ooh, flares! Nice! So you can get those from drops at this point. There we go. Out. Alright, so just up here. Hold on, let's break this. Just in case. Yeah, so right here, we didn't explore everything. Ow. Because I went to the right, so I guess I'll go up instead? These are weird enemies. You hate the position of the warp tablet in Inferno? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty out of the way from, like, everything, because it's, like, at the very end of the Inferno caverns, which is strange. Usually all the save points are pretty much, like, right where you would expect them at the start of the area. Man, these guys are very annoying. There we go. You kind of, like, have to bait them a little bit. Wow. Come on. Jump up here. I dare you. There we go. Alright. No match. Shape of a dolphin, yeah. Gate of the twins. Surely something is going to happen with these gates eventually. Maybe we'll find, like some software that will open up the gates of the twins or something. I don't know. So do I go up or do I go right? Let's go right. Ow. There is a god that controls death. There is a god that absorbs life. The words that seal these powers were entrusted to an innocent girl. Huh? Well, that's a screenshot again. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, nice. Only one, though, but still. And we can't go in here. All right. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't want to fall too far. That's fine. What is this? Ow. Those that created this contraption are fools. They mistakenly created a puzzle that could not be solved. But after all this time, it has been rewritten. Those who fail to solve this puzzle shall be punished. Uh-oh. It can't be solved, but if you fail, you get punished? Uh... Oh, do you mean I get punished because I just... I just failed. Because I didn't, like, push down the thing. Yeah. I can't get up again. So I guess you had to, like, push down this to begin with? Wait, wait, yeah. How would we possibly get the the box up to the top left? We wouldn't be able to like get through there, so yeah. I guess I can't really do anything. I shouldn't break things like that in case they have like one-time gold rewards. It would be stupid to miss out. 
And we can't read this, like, dolphin chariot thing, no. Oh, I can jump that! Okay, never mind. Not sure if you're supposed to, but... Sure. The dolphin combat vehicle. A mural depicting a combat vehicle being pulled by dolphins. As you do. Well, I mean, we can push one of these, but then I have to push this one to the right. Don't I? Because if I push it to the left, I might be able to, like, jump up there, but then we would be stuck. Oh, I, I can't even push it to the left. Never mind. Well, okay, I guess I'll push it here. That's all I, I can do. Yeah, I think we have to teleport out at this point. All right. Yeah, let's just test it. Like, if I go here, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a much longer way to get back. And it's more annoying, too. Case in point. I'm not even going to, like, play around with that. Oh, I'm also almost dead. Yeah, okay. Let's let's ignore that. Let's just go heal and then uh, take the Temple of the Sun path. I'm getting a little better at this path, at least. I honestly should kill the Sonic, I think. It's, like, a good idea. I think those can drop those cross shurikens. And there was, like... I think it was a Sonic that we got the, uh, like, ten cross shuriken drop from, which would be very worth it. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, what a snipe! What a snipe! <laughs> Not again. Alright, here we go again. Let's go up one more time. Maybe I should whip these guys instead. Because they're just kind of out. Kind of hard to reach with the, the dagger. So let's try going up here instead. Yes. This seems ominous. Ambush time? Yep. Figures. Another mini boss. Ooh, okay, staying near it seems to be the way to go. Oh, wow, that does a lot of damage. Holy crap, maybe staying near it is bad. Ow. Hmm, and I guess maybe we want to whip it. It seemed like, uh... You can't really, like, hit it from the front. You have to hit the back or something, or... Back... Half... So maybe I can use the, the whip to, like, hit through it. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh, so only the, the dagger can put out fires. You can put out a fire with a knife, but you can't put out a fire with a whip. Because obviously... Oh my god. Please. This screen is just like full of spam.
Those yellow dudes are weird. I don't even know what it is. It's like some kind of snake thing. Is the, was that a new type of shuriken? No, that was a Caltrop. I see. Is the singular of Caltrops Caltrop? Or is it just Caltrops? I have no idea. Ow. Okay, I'm like half HP, but let's try it again. Okay, I can do it with a dagger, but it's, it's not a good idea. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Maybe I should just teleport it out at that point. Yeah, there's quite a walk back every time. Would be nice to find a save point. Ow, goddamn. There's like nothing you can do about that. Okay, good. There are so many of those dudes that just like hit you as soon as you enter a screen. It's really annoying. Yeah, I. Jesus Christ, I don't have a good way to deal with these dudes. They're super annoying. Alright, let's try the whip, I guess. Oh man, I just jumped into it. Whoa, what the hell? We have Dio up in here. Alright. Maybe I don't really want to play with this dude right now. Okay. Yep, I give up. Never mind. Fucking time stop bullshit. Never mind that then. Let's go... Oh, wow. Didn't take damage. Let's go a different direction. Oh, my God. Jesus. Okay, he randomly chose not to hit me this time. Let's go here. Damn it. Okay, so now... Oh, I, can I even jump in there? I'll try. If I fall down, it's fine. Yeah, I can. Take that. But again, this isn't really gonna help. Now we can get two of them, but we can't get the third one. How did I even do that? Huh? How did I jump higher last time? Was that a bug? What? I don't know if that's a bug or not. Not really sure if you're supposed to be able to do that. Hmm. We don't have anything to, like, interact with this, really. And I can't get in here. Yeah, I don't think we can solve this one right now. 
Oh. Uh. Well, I guess I had to jump down. Yeah, I can do that. Well, now I have to go all the way back again. But I can, like, jump down to the right and land without falling into the spikes. There's so much backtracking in this game. You make one mistake and you're trapped and you have to teleport out and go all the way back again. But that's retro games, right? Wouldn't be retro without a lot of time wasting. Damn it. Maybe I should just ignore these dudes. Just jump over them. Also, is there anything up here? No? Then why is this even here? I guess you're supposed to land on it. Gonna do that. Give me that one gold that I'll probably lose. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta wait. Man, I don't know how to deal with these guys at all. To, wait, probably to expect players to go left after hitting the wall? Or trick them and then miss the platform? You mean that platform outside outside this place? Like before the entrance to the Inferno thing? There we go. So now we're here. What the hell are you? Is that like a scorpion tail? On a person, like, weird... Oh. They're angry. I have no idea what the hell we just saw. Ow. Okay, alright. Reveal the light to the grieving twins. Reveal the light to a world destroyed. The hero confers light upon the twins as they hold up the world. Okay. Light. I can do that. This is this seems like a, a puzzle hint, so I'm just gonna turn this on again. Wait, oh I can't do that. Uh What was this one again? Twist, turn, and spin. Didn't we figure out what this one was? No. Did we? There was something about like Treasure that I guess I don't know. I don't think I know Capstar or Death the Death the Death Village and Space Capster. Pretty sure I don't know what these do. So I, can I save text? No, we need both on at the same time. That's kind of annoying to like have to turn this on. So yeah, let's record that just in case. And then, since I've already used one weight, I guess I'll go up here. I think that's a headless person with a face on the stomach? Yeah, I, I, I guess so. Like a weirdly dolled up face. Looks like they have makeup on. Oh, of course. Didn't fall for it, at least. 
five witches plus one more will gather, at which point Baphomet will be summoned, or Baphomet, or I don't know how you pronounce that. Just classic name, whatever it is. It's like Sumerian or something? I, I can't remember. I only know Baphomet from like Ragnarok Online. <laughs> I see, and we don't want to go there. That's a one-way, one-way gate. Oh, what? Okay, I guess I was supposed to go fast. Can I just never go through here again now? I might have missed my chance. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of seems like I missed my chance. If I leave and come back, I don't think it's going to be open. Oh, it is open. All right, let's 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 just go then. Ow. Oh my god, of course. God damn. And that's it. Wait, what? If I went to the right, it wouldn't, wouldn't have done anything. And here's the save point. That's good. Very strange. And there was nothing else here. There's like one pot, but I can't get to it. Good thing I farmed up weights. We need a lot of them. Alright. Behold the twin labyrinths. So, oh. I think that was a new one. Alternate use for the Holy Grail. Oh? It's me! Emails are getting to be a hassle. The Holy Grail is great for warping through the normal world, but you probably want to start warping in the alternate world as well. As I recall, the wavelength sent out from a certain piece of game software reacts with the Holy Grail. If you load that software, you should be able to warp into the alternate world as well. Ah. Well, I, I guess I can't do that, but that explains it. So we have some... Yeah, we have some save points that I can't can't teleport to, the Moon Temple one, and this one, and so on. So if we get software that, like, expands on the Holy Grail, then we can do that. Alright, good to know. Yes, software that works with ancient relics. Makes perfect sense. Here we go. Nothing. And I'm assuming there are spikes down there, so we don't want to fall down. Oh, does this have another uh, number on it? Is that not a three? Statue of Buranun. Buranun. Yeah, it is three. It's just like mirrored. And I don't know if that is the correct mirroring or the one I found for the first time. Wait, is this the same screen? Is this exactly where I saw the number three the first time? I think I saw it in like a mirrored version. Whoa, what are these? That looks suspicious. Wait, is that because of Death Valley? Death, Death Village? No? Is it because of Capster? Let's just turn off all my software. No. I guess that's just a visual thing. He tells you that as soon as you scan the second one you can't warp to. Maybe. Or maybe it's just specifically this one. But yeah, I guess it would make sense. Like, you find one that you can't warp to and you're just like, oh, that's weird. But then as soon as you find two, then he tells you there's like an alternate world. Oh, this looks suspicious as well. I don't like this. What's up, like Poseidon or something? Yep, statue of Poseidon resembles Poseidon, the god of the sea from Greek mythology. The designs do not belong to any known civilization. Well, something looks horribly wrong here. Do I just wait here? Do I shoot a flare up into the sky? 
Well, I haven't seen any hint about doing anything near Poseidon, so I guess I'll just leave it. But I mean, this is something we should remember, at least. There's definitely gonna be something like, do this at the god of the sea or Poseidon or something. Let's just go over here and check what's this way. Is this like an entirely new area? Doot. We got doots again. Also, I think these might be numbers or something. I don't know. Because I think it said three at the start of the, the previous one. I don't like these spider things. Okay, they don't seem to do much. And we have more of these, like, sun, moon, and star things. And that's it. Can't look at this creepy hand. I guess that's it. Alright, weird. No trapdoors, no nothing. We just have to somehow get something for this thing. Alright, well, let's just go this way then. Ow. Ow. Yeah, this is still like a new area. Hold on, let's attack these from behind. That seems to be the best way to deal with them. The Big Brother's shop is more for more exclusive clientele. The Little Brother's shop is for regulars. Okay. I'm just gonna take screenshots, even though that doesn't seem to be a puzzle. Just... that's how it works. Ah. Ah, let's just go for it. And do that, at least. Can't go in here. Like, I feel like I've been in these screens, it's just they're slightly different. Slightly different enemies, and these these uh, are open. These paths. The power to stop time. For thine eyes only will time flow. Even things too quick to be seen will become visible. Yeah, give it to me. Is that from the, like, weird griffin thing? Oh, that was a lot of money. And... We have Dolphin Combat Vehicle again, yeah. Ow. Oh, suddenly they're back. Gate of the Twins. I mean, I guess we have to jump down, right? There's not really anything else I can do, but I guess we should jump down so I can actually... Oh, I see. Move a little bit. Well, I, I guess that's that then, for this path. I think we're done. I mean, I, I guess let's confirm. Yep, thought so. All right. Yeah, that seems to be kind of everything I can do in the Labyrinth, at least from that starting point. Unless I missed something. Alright, so, what did I write in my notes again? Where else do we go? Ah. Uh, I guess, uh, let's explore the Inferno Cavern and see if I can find, like, a statue. A statue of a, of a giant somewhere that I wasn't paying attention to. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's not here. I'm thinking it's at the screen below those, like, flame... flame things. Where you have to, like, bob and weave... out. That's not a statue of a giant. Right here, is it? No, okay, no statue. I thought maybe there was a statue on the screen. Well, in that case, I don't know if I've seen a statue. Ow. Yeah, no statue in here. What was in here? Hasuzu and Sirdab of Light. Oh yeah, I think I even... I was looking through my screenshots. I think I, I looked up what that was and I forgot. I might need to do that occasionally. Just like, what is a Sirdab? Oh, C-Dab. It is... A narrow chamber of an ancient Egyptian mastaba, either concealed or accessible. So, within here, we should have, like, something like that. A Sirdab of Light. Whatever that means, but, yeah, sometimes I might need to, like, look up some words. And there was nothing up here. No, no giants. There's that weird thing at the bottom right, but I don't know what that is. I mean, there's this. But this isn't a statue of a giant, is it? Not really. And wait, what did it even say? Did I save that one? Let me check. Yeah. A statue of the giant waits in the land of Inferno. The words of the spirit are hidden within, but one must wait for them to present themselves. Hmm. I don't think this is the one. Whoops. Wasted. Turn left and swing your weapon. Turn right and swing your weapon. The souls of the children long departed shall be awakened. I'm just waiting. I don't think this is anything. Maybe you wait here instead? No? Here? Oh. I don't think so. I don't think Lamia Girl has anything for us. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm out of, uh, out of ideas here. Ow. Okay, uh, what, what else was it? There was something in the Temple of the Sun I was gonna do. The, the moon-gazing pit, or moon-gazing whatever it was. Something like that. I should go around here and look for, uh, names. Isis's anterior, an anterior chamber. So, was Isis the, the boss we just killed here? The mini-boss? Hathor's room? Hathor? Altar of War? Can I even get out of here? I'm pretty sure I can't. Nope. Watchtower. Ooh! Wait, hold on. Uh, I wish I could open screenshots here. Like, we can do this, but I can't, like, full full view them here, sadly. So I, I guess I have to alt-tab. And if I alt-tab, there's a chance the game will crash, so I, sh I should save beforehand. Yeah, watchtower here. I just know it said something about a watchtower. So, let's go here. 
And let's save. And I'll just pause and I'll tab and check my screenshots. It was like very early on. Oh yeah, let's read this other one. I was told to choose three women. They are waiting at the promised location. I couldn't do it. They yet they yet still wait within the moon gazing pit. To the one who reads this now, please pierce her heart in my stead, she who never lets her smile fade. It might be in the Temple of the Sun, but maybe not. And then... Oh, and then I have a screenshot of something that says the path that connects two pyramids. And there's like... Is that the sun and the moon? I mean, I guess that... It might just be a hint to that, like the moon is in the sun. I don't know, it's like a, a reverse pyramid below the one. Oh boy, yeah. There's some like diagrams I'm looking at that are really weird. One second, I still haven't found it. Call forth the dragon that sleeps in this land. Follow the true flow, and the answer shall, shall be entrusted to the dragon. I think that was in the spring in the sky, maybe? I don't remember. God, where's the whole watchtower thing? There. A watchtower soars above the Temple of the Sun. Traps to capture thieves have been newly set. In a newly constructed wall, too, the key has been hidden. Okay. So there might be a key near... nearby here. In a newly constructed wall. Hmm. Like, maybe up there, but how how would I jump that far? I can't jump all the way. No. And this looks suspicious too, but I've already tried this. Oh, that bird can fly! It's like, never done that. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be it. Oh yeah, also, I had an idea for... Yeah, let's just leave this for now and go back here. There was an idea for... I had an idea for, uh one of the secret little things that I never collected down here. Yeah, this one. Right here, we have, like, a chest. Right there, and I have to somehow fall down and, like, curb to the left. So I'm thinking if I... Ah, damn it. If I, like, jump right as that opens... Maybe I can... Oh, damn it. Curve in. Possibly. I should probably use the whip here. Just for the, like, slight upward attack. Ah, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Nice. It was just gold! Well, I mean, it was a decent amount of gold, but I was hoping for something more. Damn it. Alright, then, what do we do? Ow. Hmm. Now, this screen in general is pretty, uh, suspicious. Cliff of Radiance. I don't know what that means. Let's actually go in here. Wait, no, that's that's just going in here, right? If I go down that way, I'm just going down here. Yeah, okay, so no point wasting weights there anymore. I cheese that chest? Really? I don't know how you're meant to get it then. Maybe later on I'll get something. 
Damn. Ow. Jesus. Oh, he lost his ball! Oh, poor little cat. Altar of War? Altar of War. Thoughts Room. I still can't go in here. I- wait. Oh, right. Wait. Huh? When did that open? That was close before, wasn't it? Is it because we've heard about the four philosophers from the Elder or something? Because I defeated a guardian, maybe? Now maybe that's open? I don't know. My name is Mulbruck. By order of the four philosophers, I, Mulbruck, await the strong one. Under the divine protection of Isis, my life is preserved in an eternal slumber. Should I screenshot all these? Maybe. In accordance with the ancient contract, I shall lend my powers to the one who awakens me. Uh... I mean, I've, I've already killed Isis, haven't I? Under the divine protection of Isis. The one who awakens me. I thought Isis was the, uh, damn it. Stop. What's the thing we just killed? Oh. Oh. There we go. I guess I hadn't tried that seal. Hold on. What does this say? The girl awakens. Damn it. Mulbrook awakens. And I go to sleep. Hmm? Yawn. Mulbrook slept well. Oh, are you the one who woke me? I see. Then I'll lead you a hand. Pretty sure that's just a typo. Yawn. Humph. <laughs> Mulbrack will help you, but still terribly sleepy. For now, here's some useful information. No, give me a power. Wedget is another name for the god Horus. I know! Horus is the god that the fifth children worshipped. It is, it's an eye that supposedly sees everything from on high. See? Mulbrack knows pretty much anything. Yawn. Sorry, sleepy. Going to sleep for a while. See you later. Damn it, give me my power. Oh. Mulbrack finally starting to wake up. Mulbrack is the daughter of an excellent tailor and one of the race of the four philosophers. Father worked for the philosophers, so naturally Mulbrack served them as well. I'm just gonna keep taking screenshots because why not? Mulbrack was chosen to be your helper because of her excellence. So if you run into any problems, come see me. Mulbrack cannot move to preserve eternal life. Sure, help me. A field covered in darkness, you say? Oh, I see, so this is just like to help you out if you get stuck and don't know how to progress. It was close before the Elder just said some doors will open later. Ah, I see. Yeah, I don't know what the exact trigger is. Knowledge is the greatest power other than possibly a gun. Yeah, the gun is pretty powerful. Yeah, it, you don't have to tell me about the exact triggers or anything, but... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter for things like this, because... You know, I've already done it, so the trigger has already happened, so... You could say it, but you don't have to. It doesn't really make a difference. You prefer a knife. Yeah, I mean, I prefer a gun if I had infinite ammo. It's very powerful. Especially against living things. Uh, a field covered in darkness, you say. Actually, that's right next door. Moldbrook think there's a way to make it bright, but it's difficult. Yeah. First, you have to solve the riddle of the god of the light in the chamber of birth. Then there will be a change in the chamber of extinction. It's still far ahead. Be patient and don't be hasty. Okay, so... I guess we're not supposed to go into the darkness before we light it up. To you learn how to hypothetically knock someone unconscious with an umbrella? Well, whack them on the head, maybe? <laughs> Need me to repeat? No, thank you, I took screenshots. Then Mulbrook going back to sleep. Thanks, Mulbrook. Very cool. A corridor that never ends, you say? But that's the endless corridor. Of course it would never end. But if you had the key of eternity, then you could travel deep inside, okay? But even deep inside, it's still endless. It's brilliant. Need me to repeat? Alright, this is some good information. 
a moving floor in the twin labyrinth that doesn't move? I believe that it was the third children that created these runes, those runes. The third children had wings, uh, wings you know. They were about as smart as me and figured out a way to make floating floors. They wouldn't need that if they had wings. Perhaps it's fallen into disrepair as it is old. Stomping on it might help. Stomp on it high above and maybe it'll move. Interesting. Okay. Let's repeat that one more time. The Twin Labyrinth. I don't remember seeing a moving floor that doesn't move. Yeah, I don't remember that. Whoops. No, stop it. God damn it. Thank you, Mulbrook. Mulbrook's sleeping right now. Don't wake me. Stop it. Okay, I guess no more info from Mulbrook. Well, that's useful. Oh, give me food. Now that's what I call breakfast. Just slurp them raw from the tail. What? Whoa, Mulbrook was asleep. Hmm, Mulbrook is sleepy. Just 100 years. Let me sleep for 100 more years. Ow, ow, ow. I'm tired, but stone floors make poor beds. Yep. If you were gonna be here for eternity, why do you not have a bed? Mulbrook's sleeping right now. Just got, gotta try it. I guess that's probably it. I can't eat anymore. Okay, all right, let's leave that. Yeah, we did have another one of these weird crosses as well. Cross of Light, placed at a later time. All right, well, that was some good info. Great Colonnade, left side room. I don't know what that means. No, my flare. Ow. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe we should just go into the, the Temple of the Moon. Great Colonnade right side room. Yeah, those seem to drop flares relatively commonly. Altar of Mirrors. Hmm. Ow. And if we go left here, sure, let's waste one more. Sun Pyramid, Burial Chamber. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Good timing. Ooh, 10 flares? What the hell? Okay. That's convenient. And that's just this part. The path... There we go. That's what I was looking at before. The path that connects two pyramids. So we have the one right here, and then like below... There's another one, but maybe that's the alternate world, I suppose. Maybe that's what it's supposed to indicate. So when we go into the Temple of the Moon, we're now in, like, the alternate world. The inverted castle. Yeah, I guess since I just got a heal, let's go into the Moon Temple. See if I can do anything else in there. Temple of Moonlight. Doot. And yeah, now we can't use any weapons. There's like a mother symbol up there, I guess. And yeah, okay. I was gonna say it looks like the floor is shining here, but I guess it kind of does everywhere. So where did we go here and where haven't we gone? Did I have I gone up there? I don't remember going in here. Ow. Sup? 
All right, never mind. Another one of those dudes. The Philosopher's Sigil. A sigil belonging to the legendary four philosophers said to be living in the ruins. And this signifies the Philosopher of Death. Oh, wh wait, what was that about? That we just saw? Something about death and, and whatnot? I'm gonna risk an alt tab. Oh no. Did it crash? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, where was it? There's a god that controls death. There's a god that absorbs life. Eh, was it that? Maybe? The words that seal these powers were entrusted to an innocent girl. Is that... I already forgot her, her name. Mulbrook? Is she an innocent girl? Okay, it didn't crash. Good. Ow, let me through. I don't think I went down here. Oh? Water will provide the power for the tower to soar to the skies, or to soar the skies. Yeah, so that's probably the spring in the sky thing, but haven't we already done that? Uh, I don't know if I took a screenshot of this, I'm just gonna do that, but Ocarina. So if we, if we get, somehow get like a flute, something like that, then if I see a mother with a child, then I should play that? Like the thing in the top right, right there, maybe? I don't know. And now we can use weapons again. Oh, you can kill those. Ow. No, my gold! And now we're here, on this screen, okay. Nothing here is readable. Oh, interesting. Ah! Wait, I was not- oh shit, I was not supposed to do that? God damn it. Well, shit. That's almost like maybe I should just load. Uh... Maybe it would break it anyway. I'm gonna... I'm gonna continue for now, but I might want to try and save pretty quickly. And then we can see if I can, like, go back here quickly and just see if, if I don't break that. Does it make a, a path where I can go up and down? Because that would be very convenient. Those seeking Eden open the five boxes. Wasn't it four in the last one? Mind thy manners and open them starting with the one closest. Closest to me or closest? Hmm. Mind thy manners. What what are my manners? <laughs> what are manners? So, do I just, like, hit these one at a time? No? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to open the boxes, I guess. Oh, and we don't even need to use a weight here. That's kind of weird. And there's the save point, yeah. And here's the untranslatable one. Yeah. So this talked a bunch about hearts and stuff. The joyful heart, the uh, eloquent heart and whatever. And we don't know what that means yet. Oh no, okay. Did I even go up from here? I don't remember, but let's go down and save. 
yeah, let's just save here. And I'm just gonna try. Just quickly load and go back here, and we'll just see if you can, like, make a, a better shortcut, because in that case, I don't think I've really accomplished much. Whoops. Jesus. Wrong one. Like, sure, I've played for another 15 minutes, but really, what have I done since I last saved? Not really anything. Uh, so it's probably quicker to just go from here, right? That's not the way to go. God damn it. I always mix these two up. Mausoleum of the Giants and the uh, Temple of the Sun. Also, I was thinking maybe it's quicker to go this way around at this point than to swim all the way. I don't know. Is this quicker? I don't think so. Not really. Ow. Also, this fish. Maybe I can kill it now. I couldn't kill it before. Maybe I can, like, kill it with a knife? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Oh! Did What? Did you just have to do, like, enough damage to it? Could I have done that all along with a whip, too? It was just... With a whip, it would take forever, because it doesn't do damage as quickly? Huh. Yeah, I guess fish just has a lot of HP. Okay. Oh, another one of those. So we can challenge another boss, but I haven't seen any. Well, that's good. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess you have to survive the water early on when you don't have the like water, water, water breathing thing. Ah, okay, nothing here. Alright, now we're back here, uh, and yeah, I have to go the long way around. Oh, but now, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna load, and then I have to go and kill the fish again, I suppose. If this doesn't, like, make a, a better shortcut. Does this just give me flares again? Yeah, huh. I wonder if that's consistent? God, I, I can't get enough of those fucking dudes every time. It's like the first thing you hear. So right here, if we don't hit this platform, then it works! God damn it, okay. Ah, man, all right. Well, I guess we'll just keep this then. Whatever I did in the other one, doesn't matter. Because yeah, it's way better to have a potential shortcut here. Kind of weird that you can like fail that forever. Did I take a screenshot of this? I think I did. I'm gonna have so many duplicate screenshots. And yeah, opening that didn't do anything. I don't know how to mind my manners. Hmm. Yeah, no idea. Ow. Ow. 
kind of a waste of a wait, but well, yeah, I just I could have just climbed up the ladder. Wait, what was that? Why did I like get stuck on something here? Alright, so now I guess let's go up here. Oh! It's Eden! Great! Let's just live here then! A paradise deep in the fog. Clear the fog and you will, have sur you will be surrounded by more happiness. Head for the tree of Eden with the fruit of paradise in hand. Great! Very quiet music, comparatively. Most other tracks have been pretty loud. Oh, and I can't do anything here. Everything is just closed off. Is this the, the Tree of Eden? Probably not. Well, damn. So much for Eden, then. And I can't look at anything. Wait, did I look at the, the tree? Oh! The words Tree of Eden are written here. It is the Tree of Eden, okay. Doesn't look very impressive. And we need to have fruit in hand. Clear the fog and you will be surrounded by more happiness. Head for the Tree of Eden with a fruit of paradise in hand. Yeah, I don't I don't have like an apple or anything. Not that the uh, fruit of Eden is necessarily an apple, it's just what is commonly depicted as. Alright, well, so much for Eden. That was fun. Back to the dudes. This looks like I can do something here. Most of these are probably going to fall, these platforms. Nice! Grapple Claw! There we go! That is probably uh, so I can latch onto walls. Grapple Claw, a tool said to be have been used by Ninja. Scale walls like a pro. Scale them? Not just, like, fall slower? Oh, damn. That's a good one. You found a Grapple Claw? It's me! Did you find the Grapple Claw yet? If I remember right, you've got ninja blood in you. Of course I do. I heard that from your father. If you use that Grapple Claw, you can scale walls like a ninja. So that's how we were supposed to get that chest that I just cheesed. Jump up towards the wall and hold up and towards the wall. Oh, that sounds awkward. You will, uh, you will fall by releasing up. You can also jump further by pressing the jump button while hanging onto the wall. Okay. Oh my god. But I can't actually scale it. You can scale walls like a ninja. Or can I, like, jump again? Whoa, 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 okay. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this is a lovely place. Holy shit. a mountain of skeletons here. Oh, and I can't jump up again. I wanted to kill all of them, and there was a thing to read. I guess we have to go back up again. Whoa, what the hell is happening here? I can't walk here, can I? This looks like a trap. What? Oh, okay, alright. Just had to be a little quick. And there's the map. Man, we're getting some good items. Stairway of Eden. Temple of Moonlight. Temple of Moonlight. Boneyard. It sure is. And I guess I can, like... Can I scale the wall somehow? I mean, not really. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they meant about scaling walls. Definitely doesn't seem like you can go up walls.
Hmm. It's just a bad translation. Cling to. Yeah, th that would make more sense. Alright, well, I mean, that's still really good. Whoops. So now we can get that lava thing as well. That'll be nice. Now, uh, let's jump in here one more time. Also, wait, what does this screen? What is this called? Stairway of Eden? Boneyard? Wait, and can we go in here? I don't think so. No. So let's fall down this way. Atop the navel of, ne of Neptune. Uh, I mean, is, is Neptune and Poseidon the same? I mean, I, I guess so. They're like different names for the same god, right? So, go to his, his belly button and have fun. Well, that's one hell of a leap. Alright, I mean, I, I think we're kind of done here in that case. I don't think I can do much more in the Temple of Moonlight. So I guess we can teleport out and just save and cash in everything I've gotten. This is a lot of good stuff. I'm hungry. Good talk. So, where could we use this, I wonder? I'm kind of curious about this place here. Again, the waterfall. Now that I know that you can, like, curve your jumps if you jump first. I mean, I guess I knew that before as well, but... Let's just explore it one more time to see if I can, like, get into that secret area. Well, there's a weight, at least. Can, can you not? I wonder if the knife will one-shot these guys. We will never know. It does! Okay. Nice. Yeah, like right there. Maybe I can curve... Curve my jump to go there. Damn it. Oh, fuck you. God damn it. Alright, just gotta climb and hope for the best. Oh. Well, maybe not in that case. Don't do it! Oh my god. This really is such an awful area. I thought he was gonna dive. Yeah, he is, of course. There we go. Ah, uh, would I be able to, like, shift back in that much? Ah, oh, crap. Okay. I kind of don't think I can do it. Fuck you. Stupid bird! God damn it, man. <laughs> they suck so much. Ah, that was close. I don't know. Maybe you're not supposed to do it. Maybe you're supposed to, like, jump from somewhere else. Hmm. Fuck you. Nope. Let's try it one more time. 
Maybe if I like jump outward and then, oh no, then I can't like curve in at all. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I need some other upgrade. So I'm like, oh, couldn't like break there. Something that improves your mobility or a double jump or I don't know. Ah, nice. Okay, I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but you can. Thanks for buying Lama Lana by Nigoro. Having fun exploring? Seeing as you made it all the way to this secret spot, have a look at this! Well, there we go. I guess it's just a fourth wall breaking secret. It's one of our most treasured games! Mekuri Master! Oh, and I got it. I don't know why I just took a screenshot of that, but I got it. Mekuri, 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 Mekuri! Mekuri Master! Enjoy and keep playing Nigoro games. Great! Curry McCurry. Oh, and they closed up shop. Nigoro. It's me. I'm bored, so I'm playing my favorite Nigoro game. Don't you got some Nigoro games on your laptop too? If you have one I don't have, let me try it. Okay. Mercury Master, Nigoro's fifth flash game. This simple action game has you flipping up skirts. Do not try at home. And it costs so much. What the hell? So if we remove this one and turn this one on? Do I, like, notice anything? It's a pixel-perfect series of inputs to get in without the boots, but with the boots it's a bit more doable. I guess that makes sense. Waterfall of the Goddess. Dear Nagoro, adapt your old games for non-flash. Compliancy or rehost in a flash emulator. I mean if you can download them you can always run like a standalone flash player uh, What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, I was just wanting to see if anything is like changed Not that I can tell immediately from equipping that I guess we can go back to town and see if we can flip some skirts out. Damn it. Yeah, I can't really jump up here. Hmm. Yeah, no, but maybe I can jump from above and land there? Don't do it, bird. Good. Okay, you can't make it from there. Don't even... God damn it. Stop it! This guy's gonna do it. I knew it! For fuck's sake. Oh my god, these stupid birds. Oh, fuck you. Alright, we have to jump from up here instead and just pray that the bird doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Bird can't do anything if it's dead. Yeah, let's try and jump down here. Oh, damn. Even that wasn't enough? Hmm. I don't know if that damage will, like, save. If that lasts until I get there again. Or if you have to do it all in one single go. Ah, oh, damn it. They let the hosting on them lapse. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's that's sad. If they're just like lost software. I mean, surely someone still has them, but yeah, it can be hard to find someone that can upload them. All right, let's try again. There we go. 
Okay, and then we just have to do it again. Hopefully before I die. Stop it! Oh no. Alright, I can still take like a couple more hits. Four more hits? Gotta time this swing again. Okay, good. Grab it! Nice! Oh, perfect! Full heal! Alright, it was just a sacred orb. That's good. Now we have four times as much HP as the default. Don't do it. And I think that's all we can do here in the, uh, the waterfall, right? Like, I can try jumping here again. Barun's Waterfall. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. We can't scale this yet. Maybe we get some sort of, like, mermaid power and can swim up waterfalls. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's it. But again, pretty good stuff. Got some new things. I'm gaming right now, don't bug me. All right, fine. And yeah, once again, I, I don't notice anything different with these. And it's not something where like you have to equip all the flash games and nothing else. I guess you can exactly do that. So now we have these. I mean, I don't notice anything at all, so I guess not. Yeah, maybe they're just, like, used for something special. Like, if you have them on at a specific point of the game, something happens or whatever, I don't know. I guess let's talk to the Elder. Actually, I'm the final boss in this game. Nah, I'm just messing with ya. Okay. Well, I have a gun, so... I'm not too worried. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. Which one I should, like, keep on, if any? Death Village. It's his first Flash game. I mean, I guess I would want to keep the first one. If that matters, probably not. I, I don't know. Hopefully you find out at some point, like... Hopefully you can find someone that can explain different software to you or something. A tech expert. Oh, yeah, okay, so where do we go now? Uh, let's go here and try and... Well, actually, oh man, this is this is not the way to go. Yeah, let's just go from here instead. And try and get that... That doorway, that passage past the lake. What, what do you want to call them? Flame vents? Fire vents? Perfect damage boost. Intended. Uh oh. So right here, we want to cling to the wall, huh? Oh, well, not by just walking off, I see. You have to jump. Of course, whatever. Just damage boost it. Ah, damn! That was not where I wanted to latch on. Maybe I should be on the right side instead. I don't know, can you actually, like, if I slide down on the right, would I still be able to go right? Hold on, let's test that. Ow. Like here, if I latch on here, and then let go, 
Yeah, I can still go right. Okay, so that should work. If I'm on the left side, I should be able to jump into the left gateway there or a passageway. Oh, fuck you. Damn it. Maybe I should just fall past the first one. I think you can. Oh, whoops. Damn it, I, I just tapped up slightly too late. And wait, you can do that, right? Like, we can latch on and then latch off and then latch on again. Yeah, you can. I'm just doing it wrong. Also, can you kill these guys before they explode? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, oh right, you can do that. I forgot. Shit. I guess that's the way way to do it instead. I mean, either way should work. Man, I'm taking so much damage here. This is a pretty annoying place to get into, even with this claw. It just takes so long to get up every time. God damn it, I'm tapping up, but apparently it's like a frame too late every time. Maybe I should just do that instead? Nope. I don't know. This just seems like a pretty annoying jump to make, like, no matter which way you do it. Yeah, I feel like just going on the left side, latching on once, and then, like, dropping in should be the easiest way to do it. It's just so fast, though. No, maybe I have to go over here. Wow, that hit me. Maybe I have to be on the left side, so I can actually get past the, like, second flame vent. Because, yeah, I think that's just too fast to even, like, fall past. So you have to be, like, hanging on the wall and use the ninja leap in. What? Huh? I couldn't latch on for some reason. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to go heal pretty soon. Also, finding a shop would be nice. Or I could save up for that ammo box, even though I don't imagine I'm gonna want to, like, use the gun for too much. What the hell? This is such an annoying jump, holy crap. Only for the fact that it takes, like, 20 seconds to attempt it every single time. Oh my god. It's also really awkward on a fucking control stick. Like, holding up and left and down and everything, like, you can't really do directions, like, perfectly, accurately. And the D-pad sucks on the Xbox 360, so I can't really do that. And my keyboard is too old, so, like, if I hold... What is it? Like, if I hold up and left, I can't tap space. And space... Okay, space is nothing here, but space is... Uh, Z is jump. Yeah, I can do that. Maybe I should just try and use the keyboard for now. That could probably be easier. Yeah, what? what is happening with the latching on? You can't 
latch onto the wall sometimes. I guess I have to be like holding into it as well. And I guess when I'm using the, the control stick, I'm not doing that. Alright, we have like one more attempt and then I'm gonna safety bail. Okay, keyboard works. Keyboard is good. And we have a giant... Giant box puzzle. Great. With 12 HP. I mean, that should be fine. I don't want to anger the snakes. The four philosophers have turned to stone. They continue to protect the ruins. Oh, is that why I can't talk to them? They're all stone? Let's take a screenshot of that so I remember it. So I guess if we find a way to, like, cure petrification, then we can find them. Point it to the right, and right it shall go. Point it to the left, and left it shall go. Err just once, and it shall never reach thy hands. Okay. Yeah, what are we doing with all these boxes here? What is the error? Well, let's just go to the left to begin with. No! Goodbye! Uh, who are you? Does it say? Pazuzu! Ah! So there's a new weapon past Pazuzu, they said. But nope! Not today! Yeah, I did assume they were all just, like, rude. Like, I wasn't worthy of being talked to. So, or maybe they couldn't communicate and you would have to find something to let you communicate, or if you had a special artifact, it would be like, oh, you're holding the orb, or something. So now we have to make that jump again. Fun. Fun times. I'm gonna, like, attempt that once or twice, and then maybe we have to leave it off for tonight. Wow. That was pretty impressive. If I can make it there with full HP, that would be lovely, but the chances of that are pretty slim. Uh-oh. There we go. Alright, keyboard time. Yeah, okay, keyboard is way better for specific wall climbing maneuvers. But I kind of don't want to use the keyboard just overall. I like using a controller. Just I, I just wish my fucking controller had a good D-pad. I wish I had a controller with, like, a usable D-pad. But it's kind of, like, unnecessary to buy an entire new controller just because everything works flawlessly, but the D-pad is a little annoying and, like, not super accurate because it's so clumsy. I'm way better at that, that jump than you. Well, did you see the last, like, what was it? Ten minutes? That it just failed over and over and over? It just happened to work out, uh, work it out this time. Alright, hi, Pazuzu. What's happening? Rocks? Do I, do I want to, like, push them? No? Oh, he, he wants to throw rocks. I see. Ten minutes is nothing. All right, well, I'm glad to hear that. I feel like I'm gonna want to whip this guy, not knife him. Ow. I mean, he doesn't seem too bad, at least, so far. Ow. But maybe he has more attacks? Or does he just... Yeah, he just makes more rocks now. And you specifically have to hit the head, I see. Damn, okay, you don't want to jump until after he's thrown. Damn. And he's got, like, Super Saiyan speed as well. 
Okay, well, you can't jump too late either. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. Don't think it's gonna happen on this attempt. And I could try and use some uh, ranged weapons, I guess. Yeah, okay, let's bail. I mean, I've just saved. There's no reason to bail. If we die, we die. I, I died. Yeah, that's fine. In your opinion, Grapple really is especially grumpy about control stick inputs? I mean, that's what it feels like. I don't know if it's just because, yeah, control sticks are kind of hard to have accurate inputs on, or if it, it is, is something specific to control sticks. Because, yeah, it feels way easier on keyboard. I guess the game might just read, like, diagonal inputs on an analog stick. Kind of weird. Like, I don't know. Uh-oh. You don't like stick for 2D in general? I used to not like stick, but because of this shitty D-pad, I kind of have to use the stick. So I just got used to it, and now I kind of prefer it, almost, in a weird way. Alright, let's try and do this with stick. I'll see if I can do it. There we go, alright. Stick actually does work out. I think where, where I was going wrong was that I wasn't, like, leaning the stick into the wall enough. I was holding up, but not enough to, like, latch on again. Alright, so what do we want to use here? Maybe these? I can, like, drop them on him from, from above? That could work. Or a flare gun. Maybe the flare gun would be uh, worth using here. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's a little weird. I mean, it's kind of working. I have no idea how much damage these do. I just jumped into him. Damn. Yeah, those war pits are the main problem. Ah, damn. I mean, that might work. I'm wasting a lot of those, but you can farm them, so I guess it's not, like, the end of the world. You've never, like control stick with the specific directions, yeah. When you have to be very precise, the control stick is not that great. But in something where super precise, like, directional inputs isn't super necessary, and it's just, you know, the general feel of where you want to go, like a more fluid 2D uh, platformer, I think stick actually works better. Oh, so how many... I didn't see that. So how many bosses have we killed, and what thread are we chasing? I've only killed one, like, major boss. It was the, uh, Elmac lizard boss. I've killed a couple of mini-bosses, and... Well, right now we're just chasing the, the Pasuzu thread. Because there's a weapon past Pasuzu, according to, uh... Something I read. Oh, again, I wasn't holding into the wall enough. Fuck Pasuzu. Yeah, I think I've only defeated Elmac. I don't know if that's, like, only Elmac if I've missed a bunch of bosses that I could've... could've had access to at this point. No idea. It doesn't seem too bad to me. It's just about, like... Oh my god, I just have to tank this. Figuring out when to do damage to him. And also those, like, random teleports can be a problem, I suppose. Because you can't really tell, like, uh, where he's going to teleport to, which rock he's going to try and grab. Alright, there we go. 
Guess I should go this way every time. I don't know. Yeah, we don't get anything from that rock anyway. Let's try this again, or maybe I should try the flare gun. We can also farm flare guns, but we only get one at a time. I guess for most of these you do. Let's try the flare gun, just to see how much damage that does. Oh, nothing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Have to hit him in the head, I suppose. Yeah, like, I don't know, I guess just don't don't stay near any uh, any rock, just to be safe. And I suppose I should try and, damn it, do some uh, knife hits whenever I can as well. Just, like, stay out of line of sight of the boulders. Oh, I jumped way too early. Oh my god, yeah. That's a bit weird. Hmm. Maybe I should use the whip instead. Of course he goes to that one. Alright. Yeah, shurikens might work as well, just default ones. I just imagine the cross ones would do more damage, but maybe that's not true. Maybe we should test that while I'm here. Uh, let, let's go for one of these, like, tankier enemies. I just want to see this. Oh, well, I can't do it from here. If we just go down here to one of these, like, shield dudes... Yeah, these ones. So if I use the uh, normal shurikens here... Well, we have to hit them from behind. It's three. Three of them. And if we use these ones... Well, that's not gonna happen. It's two. So I guess they do more damage, but not by that much. Damn it. Yeah, I think normal shurikens are like one damage per hit. Normal shurikens are even weaker than the whip, as far as I could tell. And the knife seems to do either like three damage, or maybe four or something, I don't know. Wow, look at that! That was flawless! Honestly, it's probably quicker to go the lower route anyway. So, what do I want to use? Let's stick with these for now. I have a lot of them as well. Damn it. Maybe let's try the whip again. Getting a lot of good hits in. Ow.
Okay, you cannot just climb the ladder. I wasn't too sure. There, there we go. Nice. Wow. Yeah, that went pretty well. I don't even think I wasted that many cross shurikens. Uh, rolling shurikens. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's not, like, try and do that better or anything. Alright, give me my new weapon. Also, can we read anything here? Nope. Oh, I see. The rolling shuriken can pierce and get, like, double hits on certain enemies, but they do the same amount of damage. Alright, that makes sense. Give me a weapon! I deserve a weapon! Oh no! Wow. Well, guess we're fighting Pasusu again! <laughs> okay, I guess I should save after every mini-boss. God damn it. <laughs> yep, that's that's another lesson in this game. That's what you should pay pay attention to. Never trust anything. Oh boy. That's the part you hate about the Suzu. I mean, they got me. Can't really get too mad about stuff like that. It's like the Dark Souls design philosophy. Not that this game was after Dark Souls, but you know. That kind of thing. They always get you with those traps once. It happens to everyone. Yeah, exactly. It's like a rite of passage, those types of traps. You have to fall for them. Oh, crap. I wasn't holding into the wall again. Don't do it. God damn it. Damn it. I, I knew that was too late. Ugh, damn it. Yeah, that's that's a good point. The like annoying jump before him is probably intentionally put there so that you would be kind of like subconsciously discouraged from going back and saving because then you would have to make the jump again. There we go. Oh, I'm missing a lot of chat. Yeah, you're you're good in terms of spoiling. I mean, you don't want to spoil too much or talk too much about mechanics, but I mean, so far it hasn't really been much. Yeah, that that trap is more about the like psychological aspect of it, I suppose. Ah. Ah. That's pretty good. He's like in a perfect spot to just use rolling shurikens. You don't even have to arc them like I've been trying to do. Should be just a couple hits more. Maybe I should just try and melee. Never mind. I shouldn't get greedy. He should be very close to dead. There we go, yep. How many did I have last time? Do I actually have more now or fewer? But yeah, let's let's teleport back. Might as well. I'm not playing around with that. About the same. Yeah, that's good then. Oh, I had 22 the first time and 26 this time, so that was actually better. Ow.
And yeah, I've kind of got this jump down as well. Fairly okay, so... Oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Stupid hit stun. It's not too big of a bother to get, get back there. Oh, damn. A little too high. At least we don't really need to worry about health. There's no boss to fight. So I can just, like, bulldoze my way through here. There we go. Almost too high again. Yeah, this room is kind of suspicious, too. I wonder if there's some hustle with the whole left and right thing. Oh, enemies here now? Alright, that's fine. Nothing too bad. Also, can I read this up here? Nope. Ah. Oh, of course. And now they're back? Yep. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that fast one is the problem. There we go. Alright, so... I guess we just open one of them, and that's it. Like, one weight here, write it up. And then this opens that. And... Chain Whip! There we go. Oh, it's just a straight upgrade! Nice! Chain Whip, a whip made with chains, deals greater damage than the regular whip. Sweet! Oh god, oh, that sound is awful! What were they thinking? That sound is horrendous! Oh no. I hope there's another upgrade at some point. <laughs> I guess we're done? You get used to it, I don't know. There's like a super high-pitched screech built into it. Like, I almost feel like some people might not even hear that high-pitched screech. Yeah, good damage. Sounds fine to you. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's something about that? Some people hear it, some people don't. Oh, and of course we can't like put out fires and stuff like that. It's still the same hitbox as uh, the previous chain uh, with. But yeah, okay, I guess that's that. And honestly, this might be a good time to end it off then. We got a new weapon upgrade, which is nice. Defeated a mini boss, did some stuff. I think this is a, a good time. Let's just go and heal. Nice health, by the way. Good time to heal up and end it off. And we'll do more Lama Lana next weekend. You're old, so maybe that's why. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty old myself, but I still hear like high-pitched screeches like that a lot. Time for a victory dip. Yeah, soak in the hot spring after a hard day's work. All right, there we go. I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to relax with some spirit fare. The like complete polar opposite of this game. We're just going to do a bunch of like farming and grinding and going around and hugging people and all of that stuff. So if you want to see that, stick around. Otherwise, I'll see you in Lamalana probably next weekend. Be right back.